And this block is cracked to shit. We're gonna come back to this. Okay guys, <laughs> I guess at this point, you're probably wondering what is going on, what I'm doing, uh, why the cha name of the channel changed. Uh, Tom G wasn't unique enough. You search that, you get a billion other things, but I don't come up. So I've changed my channel name now. I'm the only build in progress, and I figured that was suiting because all the builds I've ever had were always a work in progress, even right at the end. It's, you know, it's always still in progress, right? So figured I would uh, launch the new channel name with a video on what we're doing here. We're not putting a K-series in the speed. <laughs> That's beyond my means right now. Uh, but we are going to be stripping this K down. So I picked up this motor uh, as a spare for my Civic. Um, and it was going to get a little bit of maintenance. It was going to get head studs. It was going to get some new gaskets. It was going to get, uh, just take a look at the rod bearings, make sure it's in good health. And then I was going to send it. Well, uh, plans may or may not have changed a little bit on that one. <laughs> uh, it is still getting torn down. Uh, and I do just intend on putting some head studs in there and an oil pump and maybe porting the head and maybe putting some valve train. And I mean, if the motor's already apart. How far away are we from forged internals? <laughs> Not very. So uh, today's uh, task is to separate the head from the block. I want to see what the uh, cylinder walls look like inside. I want to see the, the shape uh, of the actual cylinders to determine, you know, can I reuse the OEM pistons or do I got to get some oversized pistons? But uh, it is low mileage, so I'm hoping it's clean. But anyways, I've never taken on an apart K-series. Uh, as you can see, got a new little work table for this project to make life easier. So let's get cracking. Okay, guys. So, gotten the water pump housing out of here. It's off, uh, as you can see. I uh, disconnected some lines there. So I am uh, gonna pull the VTEC solenoid next. I wanted to show you this. This isn't gonna be an entire disassembly video because there's tons of those online for this motor already, but this is important because there's a filter in here. <laughs> and the condition of this filter tell you a lot about the condition of the motor. So I'm gonna pull this off and we're gonna see first time together what that little filter looks like in there. Hopefully it's uh, not sparkly. Um, hopefully it's clean. <laughs> okay, people, moment of truth. I've removed the three bolts. I'm gonna give this a yank and see what she looks like. Ooh. What is that? Nothing. That is that is a piece of gasket maker. So we don't care about that. We are not concerned. This is clean. No glitter, nothing shiny. That is amazing. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted to see. So I am excited. It's a healthy motor. Good. Good. This is the VTEC sauce here. The VTEC solenoid. This makes the magic happen. So we're gonna make sure we bag this up with the hardware and uh, set that aside for later. All right, guys. So I'm ready to pull the valve cover off. This will be my second time seeing the valve train, but uh, it'll be your guys's first. I'm sorry that this is the viewing angle that I got. This is all the lighting that I got. I don't really have the most ideal work area, but it could be worse if you live in a condo or an apartment. You really got nowhere to work, so. Anyways, let's see what these cams look like. Wow, that's a clean valve cover. This thing did not skip an oil change at all. Look at these cam lobes. Wow. Everything is nice and clean here on this one. This is what we like. Nothing but normal wear, no pitting, no rust, nothing scary. Uh, the guy who sold it to me did mention these were missing because he stole them for the other motor that he swapped into his car. Uh, same with this one here, but otherwise, everything seems to be in order here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the motor at top dead center. And I'm gonna pull the uh, timing cover off and then that'll expose the uh, timing chain and all the timing business and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, take that all apart and uh, show you what uh, what we got after 
I just wanted to show you guys the cams because they look great. Very, very, very good condition. We probably won't even be using these cams in this motor, but either way, uh, it's nice to know that this thing was taken care of uh, pretty, uh, pretty well, it looks like. Even the oil that's in there is like kind of clean. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyways, get to it. Okay guys, so last clip you saw, I thought that I was in some serious trouble. I thought the block was cracked. Uh, I didn't consider the fact that it could just be casting marks, <laughs> which is exactly what those were. Uh, I didn't consider the fact this is an open deck block, so the cylinders are actually, uh, you know, not part of the, the, the block, the, the, the sleeves. Um, so if the sleeve cracks, you're not going to see that on the block. <laughs> and the only way to crack the block would be if this thing was making like a thousand horsepower and the guy was launching it with solid motor mounts and the motor is flexing and twisting, then maybe. Uh, or if you like, you know, coolant pressurized, uh, you know, boost made it into your... Uh, into your coolant and then maybe that could work but uh, I'm gonna show you what I found because this thing is clean this is like this is a clean motor okay guys let me show you what I got <laughs> let me show you what everything here looks like because uh, it's nice it's really nice we'll start with the head gasket you can generally tell if the motor's been having any issues just based on the head gasket, you know, any overheats or if this thing was like pushing coolant or the head lifted, as you can see, this thing is like, it could probably be reused. Maybe I'll just reuse it. <laughs> no. But anyways, head gasket's in great shape. This is what I really wanted to get to because this, this is impressive. So these cylinders here, look at them. Oof, the cross hatch is perfect. The coloration is perfect. They're not glazed or anything, uh, which is amazing, because if they're glazed, we'd probably have to overbore. I love how short the stroke is. You turn the crank like not even twice and it's already a full rotation. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, so anyways, here we go. One and four. There's one, there's four. They are clean. They look amazing. So I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, so that's great. Now the head. Look at this. This apparently has 112,000 kilometers on it. I don't know what that is in American. I will convert it for you guys and put it on the screen. But anyways, I made a joke. <laughs> it wasn't really a joke, but the oil that's left over in this head that's pooled in here. This looks cleaner <laughs> than most of the oil in my buddy's cars. Because, <laughs> you know, people don't change oil. Oh, it's a pain in the ass, change oil. Ugh. Yeah, change that stuff, guys. Keep your stuff in good shape. This this motor definitely saw frequent oil changes, like a lot. Uh, that's why they're so clean. There's no tarnish or anything. Even the valve cover looks amazing. And if we take a gander underneath, all the plugs still have their electrodes. So that's amazing. All the valves are intact. Nothing's bent. Everything looks clean. Deck surface looks amazing. So very happy. I'm going to be porting both intake and exhaust ports on this thing pretty heavily i'm probably gonna go maybe a little bit crazy i mean it's got some <laughs> it's not even the size of the ports on these motors that uh that are amazing but it's the fact that it's a dead shot straight into the cylinder uh these are i think they're narrow angle valves or something that's why these are so tall uh, and then all the rocker stuff on top obviously but the way the valve is positioned is when the valve opens it's a dead shot there's no weird angles or anything so when you port these you don't need to go too crazy i'm probably gonna go a little bit crazy because that's just how i am but you don't need to go too crazy um you just got to clean up the casting a little bit which if i take a look in here <laughs> it's pretty clean so i mean maybe just knife edge the little divider in there and it's exhaust so it doesn't really matter just make it thinner so that there's less in there uh and maybe just open it up towards the actual valve a little i can see some improvements to be made but like damn this motor's in good shape so i'm excited to get started on this build it's gonna be a cool one that's it for now that's the update. This is the, the build that's in progress for the new channel. Build in progress. Same channel. New name. Uh, but yeah, that's it for tonight. It took me about two hours to tear this down. Two and a half because I stopped when I saw those casting marks and freaked out a little. But that's it. We're done.